for auto and crashed into a concrete bridge. Police are still investigating that mishap. Also tonight, 36-year-old Kenneth Penn remains in critical condition after his motorcycle crashed at Door and Bird. Penn was traveling west on Door when an eastbound car turned left into his path and crashed into the cyclist. Rescue units were quickly on the scene and rushed Penn to Toledo Hospital. Traffic was tied up for about an hour. The Ohio Highway Patrol says extra troopers are patrolling this weekend, vigorously enforcing, in their words, traffic laws. The federally funded project is trying to limit fatal accidents on highways. The cause of many accidents during holidays is drunk driving. 13's Gene Washko talks with the state trooper to find out how he spots drunk drivers. Highway patrolmen watch for drivers' reactions to anything that comes along on the road. A person under the influence of alcohol or drugs has delayed reactions. We look at the other observations such as speed, uh, changing lanes uh, without caution, um, cutting people off as they change lanes, failing to yield from an intersection. He says drivers under the influence can't determine the speed of other vehicles and often pull out in front of them. The drunken driver has a false sense of security and makes radical movements. Unfortunately, their coordination is also off. On the interstates, uh, we watch for the lane changes, uh, speed, of course, a varying of speed, slow speed, high speed. Also watch for the tailgating. 80% of Ohio's troopers will be on duty this weekend, and they expect to make many arrests. During the last holiday weekend, Memorial Day, more than 1,200 arrests made for moving violations in Northwest Ohio, and 15,000 in the state. Troopers hope they don't come close to these numbers during this holiday. I'm Jean Washko, 13 News. In the meantime, they have their fingers crossed up in Michigan, hoping that the new mandatory seatbelt law will help cut that state's holiday traffic fatality picture. Back in 1978, the last time there was a four-day Independence Day holiday weekend, 23 people died on Michigan roads. So far, this year, no deaths have been reported. The new law went into effect July 1st. It's always a shame when it takes a tragedy to bring home a message. Such is the case, though, in Youngstown tonight, as fireworks dealers report their customers are thinking twice about fireworks following an explosion in May that killed nine people at a Youngstown fireworks factory. Police report that fireworks complaints are down considerably because fewer people are using them in that area. Coming up, a report on one news source that says the GM Saturn plant won't become part of Ohio's landscape. And we'll give you a look at today's fourth activities and what's ahead for tonight's big, big show downtown. This week through Saturday at New York Carpet World, final warehouse clearance savings and paddings free with any carpet you choose. Hundreds of rolls reduced to $2.99 a yard. Out they go, $2.99. Just through Saturday night, get Mohawk Plush Carpet, $4.88. Salem Cut and Loop, $3.99. Padding free with any carpet. Indoor-outdoor grass, just $1.49, the lowest price anywhere. Save to 70% on carpet remnants, every size and style. Don't miss the final markdowns and free pad with any carpet. Now through Saturday night at New York Carpet World. At Red Lobster, you know you're getting only the freshest fish because the ocean rewrites our menu all the time. There's never been a better time, never been a better place. Red Lobster is just filled with delicious fresh fish and seafood. So it's no wonder the fish aren't the only ones biting. There's never been a better time for seafood. Red Lobster for seafood. Now listen, everybody, I want you all to hear. There's something you should know I want to make very clear. When you talk about pictures, twin prints the name, bring your film on into lanes. Cause they're glossy and they're bright, and you get them overnight. So when you talk about pictures, get going to lanes. Good news. For each roll of color print film you bring in for developing, you'll get a free 5x7 color enlargement certificate. Hurry in. We've got what it takes to make it easy. We've got what it takes to make it easy. We've got what it takes to make it good. 
During July, get the Empire 24-inch push broom for just $6.88. Look for the Bargain of the Month banner at participating True Value hardware stores and home center. We've got what it takes, True Value. The chances of Ohio landing General Motors' new Saturn plant appear to be getting slimmer. One inside source reports that the choice has been narrowed to three states, and Ohio is not one of them. The states are Michigan, Kentucky, and Tennessee. The source also says that in Michigan, the most likely location is Kalamazoo. But GM officials say no decision has been made, but one will be handed down by the end of this month. Fourth of July celebrations opened under sunny skies today in West Toledo. Area residents wish their nation a happy 209th birthday with this parade. Veterans remembered the wars they fought to make this day possible. Local bands and organizations honored the day when the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence. The kids who marched in this parade got free hot dogs, while many of us warmed up the grills for the picnics that followed. As usual on the 4th, there are a large number of festivities going on throughout the region, but downtown, now that re revitalization is a reality and not just a blueprint, the festival atmosphere is intense. Today, for example, things get underway at the noon hour with the opening of a four-day jazz festival in honor of Toledo jazz great Art Tatum. The jazz festival today ran until about 5 o'clock, continues tomorrow with the jazz rally by the river from 4 to 7.30, and then a free Herbie Mann concert at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. On Sunday, the Art Tatum Jazz Legacy will be remembered in music as well as in film, the Art Tatum Legacy. <laughs> At the same time, the Maumee River played host to a number of rowing races as part of the 150th anniversary of the Toledo Blade, a series of races sponsored most of this afternoon. Competition in the eight-oar, four-oar, and single-shell categories took place, as well as races for canoes, kayaks, and sailboats. But the best is yet to come as Toledo's celebration of our nation's birthday will literally light up our riverfront tonight. Fireworks will illuminate the skies around 9.30. Now, if you're heading downtown, be aware the Cherry Street Bridge will be closed to vehicles at 8.30. You will be allowed to walk across the bridge. Then at about 10 o'clock, another riverfront first, a unique laser light show synchronized to a stereo soundtrack, after which the first ever lighting of the Anthony Wayne and Cherry Street Bridges will take place, and then a fireworks finale will end the celebration with the real bang. Now, there promises to be a crunch of spectators for tonight's riverfront activities. If you'll be among them, a couple of tips tonight. First of all, plan to arrive early. If you're coming from North Toledo, they ask you to please park on the north side of downtown. If you're coming from the south end, park on the south side of downtown and so on. When you're leaving downtown, please don't block intersections. Most of all, try to be patient. Millions of Americans are observing the holiday today. For some, the 4th of July is a break from the routine. For others, a batch of outdoor fun. Our Michael Mota tells us that for patriots, Independence Day is one of the most meaningful days of the year in the heartland of America. It's a holiday air show. The planes are smaller, but the meaning is not. Fourth of July gives you the opportunity to realize all the, the freedoms you have, and there are a lot of people who have come up and said, telling me that they've been in the service, that they really enjoyed getting the opportunity to represent the United States. On this kind of a holiday, you'll get a good turnout from the population of 8,000 here in Tecumseh. Also, folks from other communities in the area, Dundee, Britain, Clinton, Ridgeway. No one here questions their neighbor's patriotism. It's a visual and a constant reminder that uh, we should all be proud to be an American. Mike, Aldine, and Jackie relax on the 4th and know why it's observed. Freedom, mostly, to do what you want to. Reminds me that I'm an American, which brings to memories of all the sacrifices Americans made. There will be another air show in Tecumseh next year. Though the times change, the reasons for the gathering here do not. Michael Moda, 13 News, Tecumseh, Michigan. We're standing in for Stan tonight to tell us if it's going to rain on our parade tonight or on our fireworks. It's George Zabrecki reporting from the Weather Center. Also ahead, a report on how Ohio's crop picture looks at the halfway point to harvest. Summertime, it's time for our summer dealing day. We're slicing our prices as well as our famous lean roast beef. Our
Arby's tender, juicy, lean roast beef served just the way you love it. During Arby's summer dealing days, prices are as trim as Arby's lean roast beef. Right now, get a delicious beef and cheddar or a luscious Arby's Super, a medium soft drink, and a bag of French fries for this special low price. It's a great deal on a roast beef meal. So go for the lean! During Arby's summer dealing days. Anchor Point, in the middle of walleye country, where you can fish, relax, play tennis, go boating and water skiing, or go swimming in your own private pool or the lake. Now you can own your own dock, just minutes away from the best fishing country in these parts. A special package is now available with no down payment. Rates as low as 8% and reduced selling prices. Anchor Point, where you'll find summer fun for your family and winter storage for your boat. Prices will never be better, so call now. All I said was, what does high yield mean? So, uh, he decides to show me. It looks like this new Hills Brothers high yield yields more decaffeinated coffee for your money. Which is fine by me. Because the only thing better than great tasting decaffeinated coffee is more of it. High yield from Hills Brothers. Regular or new decaffeinated. It yields more coffee for your money. Get it? Got it. If you could talk to the animals, all sea world's animals, think of all the things that you could say. You speak to dolphin or anemone, cockatoo or manatee, beluga, ruddy duck or ray. If you could third with our salty friends, all sea world's salty friends, think of the amazing valley food. So come dance with the animals, smooch with the animals, walk and talk to all sea world's animals. And let them talk to you. George, meet our viewers. Viewers, say hi to George Zabranke if you didn't meet him last night. George Brand new to TV 13, a meteorologist, filling in for Stan Stachek tonight. Stan will be back tomorrow, then you're in on the weekend. That's right. Fireworks tonight. Everybody heading down to the riverfront about 9.30. We're looking for mm -hmm. the first ones to go up. Will the weather hold? I think so. We had a good-looking day today, and I don't sure see did. why it couldn't continue. All right. Do you see any reason why it should? No, I'm with you on this one. <laughs> okay. Well, let me show you the local radar, and uh, there's a little activity going on, basically to our southeast. That stuff is heading towards the southeast at about 20 miles per hour, so don't worry about that. This is just your basic ground clutter pattern. But thunder is indeed in the air. Let me show you those thunderstorms on super radar. And they're basically up uh, on super radar here. Can we have our super radar? Here we go. Thank you very much. Thunderstorms up in Wisconsin right now, and as well as up in Minnesota, they're pretty heavy at present. A lot of activity to our southeast. Nothing to worry about. This stuff, though, will be coming in later on tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures, though, around the region, hey, it's a hot one today. The hot spot right now, Fort Wayne, checking in with 87 degrees. Everyone else reporting 80s. Today, though, well, right now, outside, we have a temperature of 86 degrees. Humidity, 45 percent. The winds are somewhat strong right now. They will be decreasing later on this evening. Southwest at 13 miles per hour. Barometer is falling also, an indication that we do have some storms coming our way. Today, though, hey, it got a little steamy this afternoon, didn't it? 88 degrees was our afternoon high. 56 this morning. This morning's low. No precipitation so far, but that will change. Sunrise, 606. That was this morning. Sunset at 913, just in time for the fireworks. Okay, satellite picture shows one band of clouds that came through the area today. A few showers did break out to our northwest a little bit, but they died out. Well, right now in this middle section, we have a little bit of sunshine and that dry weather or a little bit of sunshine and clear skies will stay with us right on through the fireworks. But here's a band of clouds that are forming and those are the big thunderstorms right now producing some rather heavy rains and possibly some severe weather up there. This band will be coming through sometime after midnight and then the second band will come through sometime for tomorrow. The uh, storm system producing the thunderstorms up in Wisconsin and this associated cold fronts right there. This thing will stay to our north, but showers and thunderstorms will be coming our way. A lot of problems to our south there along the Gulf Coast. Tomorrow's weather map shows the storm system up in Canada, but the cold front in our backyard, so expect a few showers and thunder showers to break out. Sunshine will come in for the weekend, and there Monday's weather. Okay, for tonight, breezy, scattered thunderstorms. Look for a low between 62 and 66. The winds, southwest 5 to 15 miles per hour. They will be 5 to 15 after midnight, a little bit stronger. So if you're going out to uh, look at the fireworks on the boat, take it easy. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, we can't rule out sunshine, but I do expect more clouds than sunshine. Mostly cloudy skies, scattered thunderstorms. Some of these could get a little carried away tomorrow. 
high, 80 to 85, winds a little strong, southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. For you boaters, southwest winds 5 to 15 knots tonight, look out for the waves 1 to 2 feet, a little bit higher away from shore. Tomorrow, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots, waves 1 to 3 feet. And then for the extended forecast, for Saturday we will expect clearing skies, temperature of 80, then we warm up nicely to 87 degrees by the time Monday rolls around with a few extra clouds. But all in all, I think a good night tonight for the fireworks. Watch out though for tomorrow. Okay, George, thank you very okay. much. Farmers in this area tonight have reached a critical stage in their fall harvest plans. The Ohio Crop Reporting Service says that the corn crop in the state is booming because of perfect growing weather. A combination of high humidity and sufficient rainfall has made this a better growing season than usual. Ohio's corn crop is especially strong, although there is one caveat that goes with such glad tidings. One commodity expert says that crop prices remain depressed, and there's little hope the outlook will improve anytime soon. The prices are being held back by a tight export market and by a huge crop surplus. Coming up a little later, report on Ohio's latest millionaires. But next, it's Neil Harpin on sports with the latest from Wimbledon, the ballparks, and the interesting story of two area gymnasts among the best in the entire USA. Your Toyota dealer's weekend windup is winding down. Hurry, and you can still make a clearance deal. Trucks, cars, cargo and passenger vans, wagons. He wants them all gone by Saturday, so now's the time to make your deal. Toyota didn't get to be America's best-selling import on luck. Don't miss this chance to wind up with Toyota value and Toyota reliability. But you'll have to hurry. Toyota's weekend wind-up definitely winds up Saturday. It's going to be a sellout. Don't miss out. Who says you can't have it all? Who says you can't be on the job? And take your eyes off the ball. Who says you can't have super premium taste and a less filling beer? This is our kind of place. This car is me. Honey, here's what we need. Sun and color. You can have it. You can have it. It's great. I won. Let's build it. It's time. When it's time, you want it. You can have it. You can have it. Oh. Why not finance it with a loan from United Home Federal? America has always loved the hot dog. Well, now Wendy's has topped it. The hot dog was always a big family favorite. It took Wendy's to top it. We topped it with chili, topped it with cheese. There were always hot dogs. Now there's Wendy's hot dogs. All beef hot dogs with your choice of toppings and our special toasted buns, all freshly prepared for you. So hot dog it down to Wendy's. The great American hot dog topped by Wendy's. Well, you might ask why play all the preliminary matches, but this really has become one of the great rivalries of sport. Although when they get into the finals, it's Martina who usually takes over, at least at Wimbledon, and that was the case last year, Jerry. For the 66th time, Martina Navratilova and Chris Everett Lloyd will meet on Saturday in the women's finals of Wimbledon. This time it'll be at Wimbledon, 66 times previous they've met. The two are so evenly matched, they entered the tournament as co-top seeds. Beautiful play right there by Martina, who took on eight seed Zena Garrison. Garrison played very tough in the semifinal match, losing 6-4, 7-6. Martina right here with match point. Came on strong in that uh, second set to win it. And she will take on Chris Everett Lloyd, who had little trouble with 16th seed Kathy Rinaldi. The American just could not handle a very smooth and confident Chris Everett Lloyd. 6-2, 6, six love the final on that one. The men's semifinals are set for tomorrow. Jimmy Connors, the third seed, is the top men's player still around. A surprising winner at the Firecracker 400 today at Daytona International Speedway. 32-year-old Greg Sachs uh, roared to victory nearly 24 seconds ahead of pole sitter Bill Elliott. Darrell Waltrip was third. The win for Sachs is his first Grand National victory. Some good news today for the Jamie Farr Toledo Golf Classic. One of the LPGA's top players committed herself to this year's tournament. Patty Sheehan, one of the leading money winners who played well at Glengarry last year, will play in the second annual Classic. The dates for the tournament are August 1st through the 4th.
PGA Tours in Ontario for the Canadian Open this week. Watch Johnny Miller. Fine approach shot on the par 5, 16th hole. He gets an eagle after this great shot. Miller is two shots behind co-first-round leaders Jim Gallagher and defending champion Greg Norman. Both shot five under 67s at the Glen Abbey Golf Club course outside of Toronto. There are still some golfers out on the course. And there are a number of young, talented gymnasts in the Toledo area. Two of the better ones are members of the Sunrise Gymnastic Academy, which Dan Savick visited the other day. They're both named Keith, but that's not the only thing this Keith, Keith Kujanom, and this Keith, Keith Jagowski, have in common. Both boys have been named to the United States Gymnastic Federation Junior National Team. To make the squad, you have to be among the top ten all-around individuals in your age group. I looked at these people for years, and I've seen how much better they are. And, and, um, and now I'm finally up with you know, the top people in the country. It's quite a thrill. It's great because all of a sudden, you're, everybody's watching you, and all the coaches know your name. A senior at Central Catholic, Cugino is 17 years old. He was recently profiled by ESPN and has been selected to compete in the National Sports Festival in Baton Rouge, Louisiana later this month. Cugino is looking ahead to a shot in the 1992 Olympics, but... The Olympics is a goal that you have to keep toward, you know, in the back of your head. It's not, you can't just say, well, I'm going to go to the Olympics. You have to go for the smaller goals. You have to take them one at a time. Jagowski, meanwhile, is just 15 years old and a junior at Savannah Southview. He, too, is looking forward to the 92 Olympics. Could two from the Toledo area make it? That's a big question. You know, it, it depends on how, how much they can get the uh, training and uh, how much they're going to put the effort. You know, that makes, or not, I don't know. You know, it's hard to tell. Jan Savick, 13 Sports. Tigers are in Texas tonight to open a four-game series with the Rangers this afternoon at Wrigley Field. Former hostage aboard TWA Flight 847, George Bozanski, threw out the first pitch for the Cubs Giants game. Manager Jim Fry presented the Illinois and avid Cub fan a prized possession. And George told me that the worst thing that happened during the whole ordeal was that someone had stolen his Cub hat. He's got another one. Well, in the game itself, Lazanski and the rest of the Cub fans must have been a little disappointed. Chicago took a 3-0 lead, but here Jose Uribe's two-run tie-breaking single top of the seventh made a winner of reliever Scott Geralt. So the final then was Chicago losing it 6-4 to to San Francisco. How bad are the Pittsburgh Pirates? These t uh, highlights tell all. Eric Shaw, seven hitter, got Jason Thomas Thompson right there on a strikeout. Uh, Joe Orzelak right here probably should have had it. This isn't that bad, but the highlights get worse if you're a Pirates fan who lost to San Diego today 9-1. to Sammy Califa throws the ball away, and that's all part of a San Diego 9-1 victory over Pittsburgh. Padres are four and a half games in front in the National League Western Division. This afternoon uh, in Philadelphia, the Reds trail uh, Philadelphia. The Phillies have home runs from Juan Samuel and Vaughn Hayes, and out in front right now, 2-0 that game in the second inning. Pirates are pretty pathetic. Uh, they're pretty bad. Probably, uh, well, Cleveland fans won't like this, but I'm lying with the Indians. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. In just a moment, a salute to the most important symbol of freedom on Earth from one of the best bands on the planet. Stay tuned. You want to be a model, it's a nervous time for you. You're feeling so tense, but frame after frame. Your style is coming through. Soft and dry will help hide when you're nervous inside. Now, Soft and Dry introduces new shower fresh scent for a just showered feeling all day long. Soft and dry will help hide when you're nervous inside. Kentucky Fried Chicken is celebrating this 4th of July weekend. Stop by for big savings this Thursday through Sunday. Pick up our mouth-watering 15-piece bucket for only $8.99 or our 9-piece thrift box for only $5.49. The best chicken buy in town is from Kentucky Fried Chicken, America's favorite chicken for over 40 years. The Colonel's original recipe is done right, and it's only right here at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Come and celebrate this 4th of July weekend at Kentucky Fried Chicken. When Kentucky Fried Chicken is priced this low, how can you afford not to? If you could talk to the animals, all sea world animals, think of all the things that you could say. You speak to dolphin or anemone, cockatoo or manatee, beluga, ruddy duck or ray. If you could throw a 
with our salty friends. All sea world salty friends. Think of the amazing Valley Moon. So come dance with the animals, smooch with the animals, walk and talk to all sea world's animals, and let them talk to you. If your soybean herbicide program doesn't include blazer, you may be playing hit or miss with your toughest broadleaves, like cocklebur, morning glory, pigweed, ragweed, plus other problem weeds. That's why so many growers today come out fighting with blazer. Alone or in a tank mix, blazer knocks out more broadleaves than any other herbicide. Cocklebur, morning glory, pigweed, ragweed, dozens more. So why play hit or miss? Score a knockout punch with blazer, the champ. Just one note in our money watch tonight, that huge $4.5 million Ohio Lahoo jackpot is no more. The money was won last night as four people picked all six numbers correctly, so now we have four more millionaires here in the Buckeye State. And now with tonight's editorial, here he is, Frank Fenner. On this day, amid waving flags, parades, fireworks, and family get-togethers, we celebrate our nation's 209th birthday. In many respects, this should be a day of thanksgiving that our Declaration of Freedom for All has survived more than two centuries. We are still an independent nation with our people free to think, to speak, and to worship as they choose. And we must always remember that with freedom comes the responsibility to protect and to cherish it. Ours is like no other nation on earth. Though we have our problems and our differences, we are a people united in purpose with a boundless spirit. With the help of God, it will continue to prevail. Coming up tonight, we're going to keep a close eye on those rising traffic fatalities and hope we can convince someone to be careful. Please don't drink and drive. We'll also have the latest tonight on the 4th of July festivities down on the riverfront. Uh, we'll have a live report from there as well. The fireworks set for 9.30 tonight, a laser light show to follow, and then they're going to flip the switch and turn the lights on on the Anthony Wayne and Cherry Street bridges. A big night down there. We'll have highlights for you tonight on our 11 o'clock update. Hope to see you then. George says the weather should hold out just fine for the fireworks at 9.30. As we leave you tonight, a musical birthday tribute to America from the U.S. Marine Corps Band.